I believe it's a six map Inferno winning streak themselves here. So this isn't going to be easy. What's Linus doing at CT Sport? Waiting for info for his teammates, right? They'll prod on out and. You play the safety net. Yeah, he's just going to now swing on over towards B because here they come. Right, he can throw the counter flash for what was Klopski. They have the side and Mopos has run him down. Ah, oh, that's one way to get the party started. Three for three on pistols? That's uh, not too shabby at all here. Now, I, I don't know if NIP are going to even bother contesting this. I know that they have the kit, but they didn't get a kill. And, well, actually, they got no damage, Alex. So um, They're even juggling nades across. Death, you can have that. I set him up with a flash here. There's one. Death can throw another once they hear this contact. They're actually coming for this. Yeah. Confirms there's one CT. And now safe. And they're not coming for this. Yeah, get on out, guys. Keep that armor. It's not too bad. That kit's going to be good, too. Oh. Uh, Nets or Crispy <laughs> taps as well. So there's 600 extra dollars that Device will have to spend in the next. It's not the round. No. But it's... It's something. It's something. <laughs> and uh, little things in Counter-Strike. So this is quite the scary-looking buy, all things considered. Some deagles. Well, they being quite dastardly. A little bit of util as well. And that kit. Saw the Movistar Riders fall just short of the mark and ancient second round conversion. Let's see if they can keep this one tidy. They're working on both banana control and top mid at the same time here. So some warning signals of nades up top. Res perched. Oh, it should be a good conversion, but instead, just get the info. A shoulder peek out of Davi. Davi G. Getting that right. I guess it's like the Movi. The Davi. Davi, Movi, Davi. Makes sense. Movi. But they've just stalled on out here for a moment. So still a minute 15, mid control on the docker. And no smokes on either side here. Actually just flashes and bodies. And they'll get the territory for free. A bit more indication of where they're working. Trash clear. Rez up to the plate again, but this time in a new position. Yeah, he gets info on his shoulder peak. At least a sound cue given. They aren't going to be too deterred by that flash. And Death does engage from the apartment position. He's uh, yet to leave the balcony, but to have a G cleaning Shot. deep into the library. And that was one of the threatening rifles. So only device on the site as Deeg was deadly. And it, only the one this time posted. We will see the plant and the round. Movistar Riders 2 and 0. Oh. Good stuff. Okay, so uh, keeping it clean. Well, no, keeping it as clean as possible here. So only one going down. You're not too worried about that. And I'm going to hold on to what they have here for another crack in the next round of play. But everybody else should be much more conservative from the ninjas in round number three. Now, uh, those six maps in a row, we may as well go over them so you guys can see the pedigree of teams that NIP have been beating on Inferno as of late. It is Double Pony. They beat them here 16 to 12. That was within the best of one group stage over at Blast and the four groups. It was uh, big twice and G2 once. It was all single digit victories, which is really nice to be picking up against names like that. And Mouse Sports back in Pro League and Gambit as well. So uh, some respectable scalps there in the column. Now, obviously, if you're a fan of the them to this point, they're in the playoffs, and now they're within one best of three from the major. NIP stand against them, and 3-0 uh, does look imminent. Just those two saved, more threatening buys. Half wall nades decent. Mopo's using the smoke from them to at least do some damage. Plopski takes two with a Famous. The rest are on USPs, though, so it should be wrapped up neat and tidy now. The smokes and flashes deployed to take that space. Going to be thorough with their clears. It's good that they didn't hesitate, because if they actually started to play out the mid-round, they might have gotten picked off one at a time. But now that they've quickly made their way into the B-bomb site here, this should be done. So damage name of the game now for NIP as they pick up the boost. And I think it's being considered. Yeah, don't opt to actually get on the half wall. The dismount's heard. Do you see the tweet from Carrigan earlier? Just after that map had ended, uh, <laughs> Carrigan tweeted, don't think it's good for my health to watch these games the next few days. <laughs> uh, because their hopes, in case you guys aren't aware, uh, ride on the fact that one of the teams, one of the underdogs, Riders, obviously we've got Ants, we've got Fiend, and we have Copenhagen Flames. One of those four names has to finish eighth. And if they do... Hagen Flames. So they're as yet undefeated at the RMR, are they not? Indeed. So uh, we'll see if they can bleed. More Danish devils in the server here. But Mopo is on a little bit of a task in Banana. Ooh! It's a body oh, block. Oh, he's blocked him, but he still hasn't been scouted out. Linus throwing out his nade, trying to walk through. He's stuck. He surely pulled the trigger now. Mopo's evaded for a second, but yeah, the body block costs him. Shows how keen he was to try and take that space. 
I think you'd be happy with the one for one here. And if you play ahead of this retake utility or maybe extinguish it, they might have to extinguish it. Alex, are you going to drop back? You're going to go forward. He's in no man's land. The device will pluck him out. Yeah, perfectly placed Molotov leads Quickly to the man day. advantage. And they are sprinting towards the A side, but so are the ninjas. Rez, Linus, all already borrowed in. Oh, the timing. Would you bloody believe I mean, it? The Molotov will force his smoke. Should have a gap to work with, but that might buy time. Oh, Davy G coming in on long, and he can take some space here. It's forced Rez to avert his gaze. Another strike this time from Deaths, and all onto Rez on this site. The rotate's late. Davy G will clear house, and now the bomb can be planted safely. Smoked, flashed. Gap. Big one. Device to come up clutch for the ninjas or Marvy Star Riders to convert the first gun round. So they're picked for a reason, Chad, and here he comes. Davy G with his third. They love that. They're able to brute force their way in. So very good stuff here from the Spaniards as LIP are just back down towards these pistols here. Slow starts. We were talking about how that was a struggle for OG the other day. They were really, really slow out the gates here. IP would love to have an aggressive round here on these pistols just to get themselves back in the conversation. But it is five players in Banana and just two defending Plopsky and Linus in that B bomb site. Information is being gathered second mid, but it's going to be too late. Pushing on in, Alex leading the charge. Linus over the top gets the opener. Oh, look oh, at that damage. My God, I haven't seen CZs look that threatening in years. Shouldn't be much more for them here. I love that St. Pius has taken some risks, but Rez is no slouch here. So he's playing with fire and quite literally with the Molotov in his hand, drops that down. Rez has managed his angle as well, trying to close that gap and be threatening. Now, there's no kit, so I think they're just looking to kind of stop the Movistar Riders' safe exit. And some missed chances from Rez. St. Pius almost lucky to be maintaining his orb at this point. They're going for damage here, right? You can see NIP is still postured around. Banana, CT, and Ruins all covered off. So as many kills as they can get, that's the name of the game. Yeah, they actually smoked their exit, so... The hunt was on. That's... Ooh, down. They do find Rez, and that's enough. The pressure valve release. Flopsky down with the bomb. And fire. To find himself an AK-47. Plenty of util to work with. Diffuse kit on Linus, so... NIP have the recipe for success, and Hampus is forward again early. He's tied five times. He needs to kill here, Alex. He can't go down. But, you know, most people's reaction when you go 0-5 down is to, you know, tighten up. Hampus is to he go... Might, he might be... Oh, Lucy. See, See you later. Death's holding for it. Anticipating the aggression and a man advantage for the 6-0. and oh. All right. Well, that's how Linus knows he's got a lot on his plate. <laughs> Here, mate, take the util and uh, the best of luck to you. It's Solo one thing to have the nades, right? It's one thing if they respect it, though. So now turning their attention back towards Banana, bomb picked up. There's a reason he's got the incendiary as opposed to the smoke, right? It's much co more costly to disrespect the uh, flame in the can. They have three smokes, though, right? So they might have one to extinguish here. It just depends on how good it, the rider's protocols are on hitting the site. And if they do disrespect this, they might just save NIP. Yeah, there it is. Extinguish, Linus. Gets his smoke down and will play aggressive in front of it. It's something here. He does, but the stray bullets have connected. They know he's in the pool. And Davy G down. Mopo's next victim. Big find. That should be the site. Plopsy's coming in towards the coffin position. Won't have a chance to deny that bomb. NIP definitely looking a little shaken here. And a good catch from Rez puts us into a competitive stead. Device has got a flash and a smoke, so we might set these boys up for their push. Rez confirms Mopoz is towards that emo corner. Smoke's off the banana side, so some Pius' AWP is completely nullified. This is really sketchy. Oh, and they're down. All onto Sun Pius. He's surely not long for this world. Rez confirms it. And NIP, a great retake takes shape. There's the mid smoke from Rez there. That one goes deep towards mid. It's going to stifle any early aggression. It also acts as a quick cross for Device if he wants to go towards that short side. Deep nade. Some Pius already chipped on down. 
Mopos as well. Both are now in range of that one shot with the M4 to the head. And wow, a couple more HEs into the mix here. Ooh, oh, careful now. Everyone taking some chip damage there. A lot unconfirmed. You've got kind of two separate projects taking shape here. Oh, please don't spread. Please don't spread. They've just re-smoked mid from the site, so it's actually a passive stance on A, but they're feigning that they're a little bit closer. And you're right, the two projects, obviously Boiler and Halls Control and Banana Control, but as they rescind out of Banana, it is looking like it will be the A finish here. Still have three smokes to work with, and as that one's lobbed out towards the long side, it's only going to be two. Molly's for the pit position. That's where Hampus resides, and he currently still has a smoke, so he can negate that with the scissors, paper, rock of the utility. Trying to be convincing. Two smokes, a Molotov. Three to be received. Mopos with the commit. The counter flash could not have been better timed. And that's when our deaths and Alex activate. Now, NIP suspect they're up to no good. Rest is in a lovely off angle, but he's just looked away as Davidge does drop some utils. And Pius caught just the tail of the assault. And now onto these two. Deaths and Davy G oh. partner up. Good finds from Death so far. He does just avert the spray and counters Plopsky with one of his own. Only Linus. They need to get that bomb down. Not going to fall foul to the clock with a second to spare. A safe plant is found. Oh, this is hard for Linus. This is not an easy clutch, especially on 43 HP. But he's been pulling clutches out of the hat more often than not. This is really hard, though. One in pit and one in sight. How are you going to break this? Yeah. I mean, Davy G would always have to miss his first opportunity here. It's not going to happen. Spots him out. And that's sick. A little bit of a shove all in. So obviously Max lost bonus in the next round for NIP, but they lose this without any saves. Well, they lose this. Uh, that's already seven. So don't even worry about the fact they won't be able to buy. This is already a great T half. Device boosted on up. Nobody home towards Banana right now. It is a passive stance being adopted here. Flashback. Oh, he doesn't know. Through. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And Rez does look like he's set for success here. He can just put that Max 7 in there. Belly oh. does pump them full of lead. Three down to the early engagements. Hampus catching two, and they're not going to clear them. Device sets up and knocks down another. And despite the sketchy buy, this will be the most convincing one we've seen from the ninjas. Might even get an AK or two out of this. Yeah, they will. Upgraded there, so... On Inferno, certainly not. Particularly in his wheelhouse, doesn't seem interested, didn't seem particularly interested on Ancient. So here he comes, an Armored Deeg, looking to be the hero. And he's already lost one of his teammates. Mopos cut down to size, the HE's land, good counter flash. And Pius is being hunted, he's lost Davy G. The trade onto Linus is something, baits the shot. Temptation for more, good shooting, they're both there. He's trying to close the gap and they get nothing for it. They threw the kitchen sink at that banana position and threw the tracer fire. Alex claws back another, so making it costly. It is a gun. He'd have loved the head onto <laughs> device. There's a between groups and playoffs and after their qualification. And uh, one of the things we learned is that Alex, he's another one of the in-game leaders that struggles to hide his feelings. Ah, um, an emotional type. An emotionally driven leader. At least uh, that's how his teammates described him. But obviously that works uh, in both ways. Felt like he sometimes struggles when teams don't give them the respect in the server initially. You have to fight for it. Oh, yeah. yeah tell me about it. And how much that frustrates him when he doesn't get to play Counter-Strike. He just has to play Angels until someone actually says, oh, guys, actually, maybe we should cut them some slack. Yeah, stop disrespecting them just with the Aggie play. And how it can even actually you know, have ramifications in their practice. Sometimes people even in practice are just scrimming them and running them down mid. Oh, that sounds very familiar. Oh, Chad, yeah. NIP literally used to do that back to us in the day. They did it to us at a major. Oh. Yeah, that's when Natu was the coach. Natu the coach? Of NIP. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you're throwing me back. Well, this has been quite the default here, and not a lot of utility remaining for the Movistar Riders. I want to pat myself on the back. I don't think I've called a movie star Riders once. Oh, you just did, but yeah. Just you, you saying NIP coach Natu, suddenly I'm just remembering back in the days of like Ukrainian ice hockey locker rooms. <laughs> FP centers. Yeah, it's a, this this is a significant um, upgrade to that. We've got, you know, water, coffee. Always nice. Eating. They've really read this well, Riders. They've actually pulled the third man over towards B, Alex, and there's Oof. 30 seconds left. They're working into Linus's domain. Crossfire. It is potent. 
Those three letter heroes are ready and raring to go. It's LNZ first, but there it is. Movistar Riders behead the both of them. Plant on the A site for the seventh. And how do you get save, back into this save, one? Save, yeah. Save. Wow. That was just a lot of posturing and then a bad read from NIP. That's what that comes down to, right? Hampers gambling, trying to strengthen that B bomb site. Gambling incorrectly and. Well, two kills and you're done, right? You're putting a lot right there on your A defenders because if they're walking in and let's say it's a 2v4 or maybe even a 2v5 scenario like that, if one of the two is not getting a multi-kill, you're always going to be on the uh, hard end of things. So seven now. This is wild scenes here. Now, we've already seen NIP in this tournament come back from really bad scorelines within the first half, but that was with them on the T side, not the CT side. Now, as Prof corrected me the other day, uh, recent times Inferno has been more of a T-bias map by 1%, 51%, I believe it was. But uh, still, if you're NIP, you're going to be looking. The saves facilitate a buy. And back into battle. Oh, good spot. And already device down. NIP forced to stomach a disadvantage. And that's proactive thinking from Plopsky. Does want to take the AWP, at least for the initial shot. He'll have a rifle to fall back on. So we are really in the meta game. Oh, this is not looking good for ninjas, though, is it? Eight feeling imminent. <laughs> very, very close at this point. They have a lot of utility. That's probably the only positive I have right now. It really just but depends on how they wield this. I just really want to give the credit where it's due to the Movistar Riders, not only for the 30-round ancient game, but they've come into their pick looking like it's their pick. Yeah, this is great stuff, right? This is showing they're competitive. Remember, this is now a best of three. There's no one, no more of those uh, best of one. Little caveats. I uh, watched someone say, actually, underdogs are favored in the best of three. It has to be a best of five. Uh, we need to play it uh, over three days. Yeah, no. And uh, and it's not fair that they get to play their map. It's, <laughs> it's like they, well, they get to pick the side on uh, NIP's map. Maps. Yeah, so okay. That's, that's, it's not cool, actually. Not cool, guys. Terrible format. Well, this is a good gamble. Everybody's here, Alex. Yeah. This could get problematic. Ampus to drop the smoke on top of his incendiary and push to deny the spray could ruin everyone's plans. Sunfire's the first victim, a second, a third. Humpus is sprayed down the whole squad and it's nearly the ace. Alex doesn't get much further. As over towards B were you? Now the buy on the other side of things. The riders finally being whittled on down. Galil's a deagle, a couple of AKs and Hampus aggressive again. Hello, okay. that's an opener. It is an opener, but it could be a closer from Sun Pius. Knocks the AWPA for six, and Device has, hit, has fallen foul to two of those. Oh, not turning the flash. Rez is brilliant. He stands his ground to take two with him. Sun Pius keeps the game competitive. Scooping up some util that will have great help once the bomb goes down. Alex considering his options, wants to clear the site fair. And enough. Flopsky's long side line is coming in from that deep banana rotation. Save from the nade. Oh, so Pius aware of the potential for the flank here as the well. Around the world from Linus. Mid, sure. Boiler, sure. But all the way from T-side apps, his crosshair's not expecting this. So on his next cursory glance, it could be the end of him. Oh, falls back out, takes the duel regardless. All onto Alex on the site, and he's got to deal with both. Halfway tick now. Time is on his side. It's ticking. Molotov down, spotted out. Two players advancing, needs the spray. Finishes onto Plopsky. Oh, that's the save. <laughs> Alex leads by example. The Movistar Riders erupt here. In point for NIP in this game. Now they're back against it. They have to force by in. The buy looks average at best. Plopsky forward here. He's between the flames. Dead again. Trouble now. Yeah, and the frags just keep on coming. And they don't stop coming. Hampus and Death. They've had quite the head-to-head -head in the apartments. And his aggression still getting away with it. The Hampus special. This has been great. This has really been a, a strong showing here in this first half. I feel like they're probably going to be setting their sights on 10 rounds here. Feels like NIP maybe will get a consolation round on the way out the door. We know it gets scrappy in the final few and Hampus' aggression. It does not relent. Yeah, this is the M4 I thought looks like it belongs in a museum. Nice find and it's down and where it belongs on the floor. <laughs> Do they risk going B again, right? The gamble call last time was this B stack. I think spotting out the last two on B yeah. would make the decision for them, Chad. They are out of here. Probably going to have to charge. Alex has been left to corral and house this aggression. Should have him here. Oof. Minus, good crosshair placement. And now at least an AK as well as a frag. Yeah, I think they will just try and save again here. Now, take a look at the finances of the Movistar Riders. They can't actually really risk 
going for a hunt here. You don't want to give up any guns. You need to start working on uh, making sure you have five rifles in the next round. And their financial management has been very good up until this point. But look, NIP have really had their chance in this first half to get back into the game. And, well, they've been taken away from them. I don't want to say that they fumbled them because it has been some really good plays out of the, the riders. Like some pious with those multiple deagle kills. That was nice from him. But yeah, this is nine. And again, if I just take a quick look at the loss bonus here, NIP, because of the last, we'll call it six rounds of play, we found ourselves in a position where the loss bonus going into the next is only 1,900. So, ouchie. It might have to be a save. Um, can 100% qualify for the major, right? So yep. that's that's wild. We're going to get three of Fiend, Copenhagen, uh, the, the riders right here, or Ents. Uh, locked into the major and we might get all four if they manage to win games in the openers here so a lot to play for for everybody here a little bit of a boost assembled at the back of b so right on the top linus is chipped on in towards that new box as well and i think hampus is just trying to draw them in with his presence here he's happy to well take a shot or two yeah, well, his retreat's been cancelled. He'd love to finish off the job, and you can see how much he's lusting for it. Positions nicely to turn all these flashes. He's still got vision and more damage. So much damage. Can't seem to put the lethality down. But Alex, five Mopos at half health. It's up to Dava G to have a little poke and prod here at the A side. Device is looking for the one bang. Device can't go down here. He needs to at least dissuade them from coming A. You want to force them into this B stack. This can go so wrong for the Movistar Riders. They really can't afford to lose a round like this. Just two rifles saved from the previous. And already those boosted turrets start to activate. Oh, keeping Rez humble with the tag. And into the site, they still commit. Sun Pius and Alex trying to force these fights. Rez ops for new box. They have established the crossfire. Plopsky no armor on this, but Alex is solo. It has to be Pius. So oh, they line up and Alex is gone. A slip up for the Movistar Riders. and Hit in case they fell back to his position to deny that plan. So everything from NIP was really good there. And you can see what it's done. The final round here, not a lot to work with for the Riders. And some drop nades over towards B. I love that our ops team is taking care of that for us. Because I think I'd lose my mind if I had to find that out too. Legends. Here we go. Deaths has been great on this A attack. Yeah, and you, you talked about it as well. 10 definitely does seem to be the line. Movistar Riders... It's the only one that's attainable now. 9-6 definitely would be a nice softening of the dominance we've seen early out of this T side from the Spanish. Love that nade, don't they, NIP? They can resmoke mid safely from sight. Device is the one to deploy it. And he'll use that just to start his crawl into short. A lot on this. A lot riding on this, and it's who's going to blink first. Flash. It's well placed. Oh, finish him off if you can. Yep, device down. Inked. Up to Rez. They know he's on Balk. They suspect he's alone. Hampus, however, is there as well. Trying to B split. And it could work. Linus is already considering the options and the potential for that wrap through CT. Mopos has been here the whole time with his Tech 9. They haven't got much util to speak of. Linus controlling them for another five seconds or so. Extinguish in. Davage needed that. Pressure all coming from one direction now, and it's a two versus four. Yep, the pain is only going to get greater. Plot. Valve doing their best to see just how much we can get out of them. Avagee's dropped something for someone else, I suspect. A couple bits of util, I do believe, there for Mopoz, right? Because he has a kit as well as a smoke and two flashes. That's over $800 worth, let me tell you that much. Crunch the numbers, folks. Oh, this is a B fake, and they're heading straight up mid. Yeah, charging. Swiftly up the short. Deaths, however, is tucked in for a late activation in the bedroom. Oh, nice flash. This is a perfect spot for the Julies to work their magic. Ahead found. Liners down. Go on, David G. Two with the Julies. It's Deaths who strikes. Device will deal with him. And he's been handed a clutch that's very manageable. They have a kit for that retake. We discussed it earlier, but also two flashes on Mopoz. Will he choose to use them? Two fake plants and a device, Mopoz. He fancies it, confirms it's not a real plant, and now it's given time for Alex to crawl towards that balcony position. Device has got so much gap time here. to work with, yeah, and if Alex is brave, which he is, he might clear short. 
Oh, device spotted out. They should have it. Nade from Death's Down mid here. Just going to barrel that one forward. Dropping some nades across late. Got to be careful, especially in Hampus's area, to be doing exactly that. Wouldn't take much for the CT util to barrel that one away. Ah, okay. Uh, so Device mentioned this to me, Alex. Uh, he is going to have, I think he has like, they try and give him something like, I think he said six flashes or something from this position just to throw on over as they're going to waterfall out. So this is going to be interesting. He was talking about this the other let's day. Let's keep track of how flash the Movistar Riders get. He's got two more at his feet minimum. So he'll be thrown out the smoke, typically thrown from mid, and then he just gets to just rain down flashbangs. Keeps them coming. Look at this, a barrage of them. And Davi G's ahead of them, tucked in close to the smoke, completely unfazed. A nice idea, not quite as nice in its execution. And executed is Hampus. Okay, <laughs> Movistar Riders with a clean sweep of our round 17. Well, it looks silly when it happens like that, doesn't it? But you could see the idea. You could definitely see the idea. The fight there by Fossil. It's not bad. Respect, okay. plus one thumbs. I can play the uh, tambourines. Yeah, I'll bring the accordion. The accordion? You can't play it, but remember I'll, I'll when, bring it. Uh, remember when they thought you were a drummer? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when we were trying to make friends in Malta. Yeah, we did our best. How did that come about that they thought you were a drummer? We went scuba diving. We went scuba diving. We're talking to our instructor. We were like, yeah, we're kind of just lonely game boys with no friends. That's true, we are. And she was like, oh, I have friends. And we were like, oh, that's great. She was like, yeah, we just hang out, do th uh, you know, go camping on the cliffs and play some music. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and then, I, you know, as you do, I was like, oh, I play music too. I used to, sorry, no, let me correct myself. I used to try and play music. And uh, explained that I d did a little drumming uh, when I was a child. And uh, for some reason, that translated into me being a drummer and added to a musician WhatsApp group. Yes, that's right. I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi, uh, hi, everyone. This is Alex. A drummer. A drummer. Yep. Boy. I'm the drummer boy. Well, that wasn't the case. And I, I don't think this is NIP's case here either. So we can see it's just going to be the, the lighter of the purchases coming on through. It's just some pistols that have to hit some bangers here. And well, we have one on the boost and one over towards CT spawn. Wompos will take first contact. And there you go. The easy Wombo combo. The Orp on some Pius, if he gives us a, a stunning nice opener, you could be looking at like the, them finding 10 rounds at the start of both halves combined. A couple of HEs left over. We saw what they did for OG just the other day, so we'll keep tabs on that. Gambling? Gambling? So scooping up some of those nades here. And you know that you're going to have a bit of a buffer over towards that B site, right? This might be something that gets punished more in the future when you know that these teams have these gimmicks to play with. But it's still early days. So uh, knowing that, almost an impossibility here. As we've had about 30 seconds pass within the round. NIP with not a huge amount of control here. And more grenades being picked up. But so far, not a single point of damage has been done to NIP. Nah, they're chilling their beans for now. They used so many HEs, banana, and didn't get a single bit of utility. That's the other side of it, guys. When you see the geniuses like Alexi B use it and they get a 1,000 points and a half, it's a little bit different than just throwing a couple and not getting anything. Yeah. This is tough. Very tough for some Pius. He has just evaded the trade. Rez goes aggressive and David G down and out. Counter utility not going to be respected. Device has full control of quad side. Rez is even coming knocking on Alex's arch. That's important. An AK too. One MP9 versus the AK Jewel keeps us level. NIP are low. They're out of ideas too. They just have to go A. Yeah, device has made space. A whole lot of it as well as Linus in support. They, oh, and the CT's got nothing. Yeah, the save is smart here, but that really, for the moment, for, for the moment that Rez went down, I thought that NIP were going to lose that round. I, I won't lie. Alex should have a chance to get the AK unless Hampus meets him. It's the only kind of retrieval that's going to try and take shape here. Ah, and he's uh. been found. Okay, we'll definitely save the AWP, right? And, and Mopos, he's been able to reposition here quite quickly. It's going to depend on how aware NIP are. Financial damage, good. You mentioned at the start of this one, it's a bonus, right? Guys, take a look at the right-hand side of your screen. You can see there's plenty of cash to work with, but anything you can save and... Well, hey. uh, Plopsky, your knife's out. Express delivery. Thank you very Plopsky much. Plopsky services. Imagine if Plopsky sounded like that. It's a very... That's like the American... It's like you're doing an uh, insurance ad. Yeah. Here at Plopsky Farm. Oh, well, he would nearly go away with the AK. It's... A short-lived success. So Pius keeps his orb. That's the most important thing, yes. right? Mopos can buy. Davy G can buy. It is a standard hold. So just two players over towards the B bomb site, three over towards A. 
NIP looking like they want to spread on out in the default scenario. And this time a nade finding some damage, but only eight points of health and some pious. Aggressive as you like, will be mollied out of position, has to drop on back, running through that a big chunk of damage, more pressure towards B. So NIP are working on a lot right here. Go, this is a power position, he's just gonna hide. Yeah, can tuck himself in. Allowed rotate would be heard as well from that speedway position. So this is just going to be the Flex Ek. Watch as that left side of your screen, all of those nade icons just evaporate in a 20-second window. This is a nice gamble. Uh, and this is only made possible by the forward pos position right now of Deaths, right? He's in boiler. He sees nothing, right? And Davy G also jiggle peeking mid. So there's going to be three players here. Not easy to break because they're playing two sight and one coffins. There's nobody going to get stranded behind the CT smokes. Here they come, a barrage of nades, Plopsky to make space, and Alex immediately denies, puts his name in the feed, they don't check Mopoz, and now down to Mopoz for a second. He has done more than you could have asked of him, upgrades his weapon, struggles to find it, but some... Even picking up the map here, Nuke is the third. Carrigan... That could get spicy. Yeah, Carrigan might want to turn off at this point, come back in about 15, 20 minutes time. Device sticks around, he knows the fight's coming, and Mopoz succumbs to it. Good shot out of device has opened NIP's account nicely. Still those three rifles in play. Well, they're gonna waterfall out here. Yeah, it would be uh, another big test for Davy G. Deep incendiary for now. And Stone Pius is so disconnected from the pack. If they do all waterfall out, it's just Davy G. Don't wanna get caught on a quick switch here. That's the flash for pit side. Davy G turns it nicely, drops his one way. The pressure's coming. Son Pius is his backup, striking into the head of Rez. Oh, he took off the barrel. Right click cost him. And now they've lost the sight. This could fall apart at any moment. The re peak would be dangerous. And he hears the orp pit lining up. The incendiary will nullify the potential in the mini pit. Alex needs to strike now, try and contest this plant. I think that's what he wants to do. Here they come. Clearing in, Linus dead. One for one, it's still a possible round for both of them. Device is desperate to catch him. He's looking the right place for Sun Pius. They missed their shot. Oh. Not far off the mark, Plopsky. And Death does engage and that's Nip with an eighth. Nice work from them. To On him to pull off a maneuver like that, that's brilliant. And you can see what that has done. The funds. Not looking good. Uh, nothing feels better. Especially when you're whipping out a T-side Inferno Warp just to put that in the feed early. Rez seems aware of some aggression here. You can see he just continues to glance up towards that window room. LNZ, he does have a lot on his plate here as he's working through the apartment's position. If this goes unchecked, Mopoz might be able to grab himself an AK-47, you know. That's exactly what my boss was waiting for. And Deaths, punished for his greed. Yeah, good stuff there from Linus as well. So he didn't push too far. He was able to catch that. As my boss would love his aggression on Ancient, he went for something more. And now they're actually going to find the path of least resistance here. Hampus has flanked the maneuver through library. They're going to pincer it down on towards this A bomb site by the seams of things. Oh, Lordy. Double. Alex, that was very quick. Oh, dink on his USP. He won't last much longer. And neither will Davage. Yeah, nice shot exchange there in chat from Hampus to Alex. That was uh, really quick, right? I didn't see that one coming at all. So, some Pius trying to do a little bit more damage if he can. Next round, staring down the barrel of a 1900 loss be enough to work with here but you can see we know that a lot of players like to save in the back corner of pit so with this bomb going on it's going to be trying to convert a little bit of damage any second now there he comes okay bomb goes off they should all survive no problems what and then they can sit back put their feet up and cross their fingers and toes it could be confirmed today the legend spot should vitality fall that is a 
if but and Well, they are going up against the undefeated Copenhagen Flames, Alex. <laughs> they are. And I liked the uh, the confidence when I saw some of the interviews on Twitter from the Copenhagen Flames boys. They definitely seem to be... I'm not even going to say Well, it. this is confident. Yeah. Hampus already ahead of all the util, just contacting in new box. The first. boost. Lands in the boost. Can't believe it. Alex eliminates Hampus with a little crab walk in. Easiest kill of his life. Yeah. I think I could have got that one, you know? <laughs> Well, the name and everything. Yeah. I don't know if Device wants to hang around here for too long, especially now that he's given the sound cue away of that AWP. And Mopoz is Alejandro as well. Ah. There's okay. two Alejandros. Ali, Ali. Device back up Banana with the bomb. It seems like that's going to be the final port of call. They're reboosting as well here. Hmm. And uh, if Alex is, yeah, so you, if you're on the boost position, you don't want to be stuck up there with the util. It's better for Mopoz to be able to throw from the site. So really good exchange here. You can see all the details being checked by the riders, and it will be a two on four towards this BX here. Another smoke to stall out, 40 seconds now, and maybe, just maybe, some Pius will read this again. Sure, but we saw how successful Mopos and Alex were in the defense. Last time we saw the Ninjas try this, the full BX, like they don't have the boost this time. Let's see what their reaction is. A pull flash, I suppose. Timing is everything. Minus is burning. Alex posts his second, and he's stuck on the boost. He will continue to be a threat. Surely he continues to engage, and he doesn't quite hit the mark. Sun Pius through the smoke does, and oh, it's right on the money. He can't finish the job. There's no way they get this, though. A 2v3 with what? 25 points of health between the two of them? A missed shot from Device flashed off and hunted. Sun Pius has contributed buckets and spades, and Plopsky oh. threatening. Marvy Star right? A lot of mu music on the Spanish side of the fan cams. Keeping the motivation and the mood high. And I, understandably so. A distinct lead. Five rounds to the good for the Movi Star Riders. All right, well, can IP extend play? Davy G trying an aggressive Hampus esque maneuver here. Doesn't bite off more than he can chew. I think he's had enough. Feeling quite content. He's had sufficient. That's what I used to have to say when I wanted to leave the dinner table. Three of them to handle this NIP attack. Tim Pius was convincing in the previous. He's got a little bit of cheeky leg and a pot shot thrown out. Linus dumping his nades from the oh. bulk and they stack out Davi G. He's had a bit of a nightmare in the pit and a nightmare on the A site. It looks simple when it works Apple's out like chasing. that. They're not ready for this. He oh, just pushed a smoke. Him. Hear him and eliminates Alex. Mopoz at least claws something back. But yeah, what was supposed to be two save rifles, maybe none. This look, is huge. Look I can't how believe quick they're hunting. This is wild. Like Mopoz, I don't think you're ready for this. No. Yeah, not at all. Through framing, wasn't it? Yeah. Like of his move. It's like now I need to really just show everyone that it's not just the system that I'm thriving within. Well, it is a force by here. This round actually means an awful lot. Uh, an awful, awful lot because the riders will have to take a save in the next round of play. They have gone all in. They've fully bought up. Oof. Yeah, this is uh, where NIP can close the gap, right? If they win this, it's 11. Should secure, and you can spot them out. Plopsky, damage done, and they can't move. They're still hanging around. Nice. they are actually gone away from that scar free. Evade the nade. Just about. Not the spray. Mopoz. Needs a hero moment. He's been spotted out <laughs> behind you. They scream. Linus will catch him. Oh, and this force by. I mean, you're going to have to go for a second attempt. I wonder if NIP chasing around like this, right? Because you know it was just up against the pistols. Worst case scenario, you give away AKs. Best case, next round becomes even easier, right? So you can see the pros and cons of both. But I think you'd rather deal with a CZ, a Scout, and a Deagle than an AK or two in their hands. So they are starting to already comb through CT spawn. Device having bottom of banana control. Now, the bomb is halfway ticked, and at this point, you are going to have to worry about the site, pit, boiler, halls, tea house, tea spawn. Yeah, a lot of places to clear. And as I said all that, look how far that bomb's ticked on down. So we'll call this 11. Not out of the woods yet, Movi. Very well, seeing a sixth. They couldn't have anything more than they desired. If anything, one-way smoke, yeah. One way and a scout headshot could change my mind. Yeah, he won't get a second chance. Hampus is hunting and he's, he's aware. He's crazy, isn't he? But Hampus really does rarely let go of that W key. Accelerates into Sun Pius. A scout tag for his troubles. 
the list of in-game leaders now who do those type of maneuvers has definitely grown, right? Back in the day, it used to just be a couple of names, but obviously with Nafany, Boomich does those aggressive plays. We've obviously got Ard involved, Carrigan known to love a little bit of a play exactly like that. Let's say we're in a parallel universe, Chad, and you've stuck to playing. Yeah. You've been grinding it out with like, I don't know, Chiefs, right? Chief Sponge. It's 2021. Okay. Are you inspired and in going for raggy maneuvers, or is that just not in the playbook? I used to. That used to be one of the only things I was good at. Ah. Uh, I remember talking from Pet to Petter from. Uh, hold up, we're going into B. We can talk about my ancient history. Yeah, but I don't know if there's going to be too much to celebrate here, Chad. It's one. It's nearly two. Popsky confirms it. And Mopoz, he's just trying to kick up a fuss. You know, I mean, he's running around. Got a gun. He hasn't got a gun. He's actually going for the medieval strategy. This is where you just go for the single-handed uh, broadsword. Now, uh, the blade's obviously quite advanced back in the day. This is this is a mythical one. Obviously, yes. blue is the same color as mana. Um, so if he strikes, he can actually send a, a beam at the yeah. opponent. Well, it's actually forged by uh, elvish blacksmiths. Okay. So it's mithril. Um, ah. Very specific uh, forge at a very specific temperature heated by uh, the magical spells of Death. Death's uncle is actually a wizard. I see. Yeah. Interesting. You know? Okay, we learned a lot there. There's a lot of lore in the Movistar Riders. I, I wasn't universe. aware. So where did Smoo plug into all of that? Oh, well, Smoo was actually a foreign invader. Ah. He was from the Rider tribe. The Rider tribe? There's a, there's a tribe of uh, cavaliers. They're Is very... that why he was allowed into the Movistar Riders? Precisely. I see. I see, I see. Yeah, they thought they could learn. This is where the Riders have to get it done. There's no diffuse kit, some pious on the glass cannon, but at least he has the big green. All right. Back to mid. I wonder if the Movistar Riders will look for info on B or if they've been deterred so after all of those XX, bro. Yeah, it's so passive. Like you've been punished so many times. You've just, you get so much respect now if you're the ninja. Sun Pius is going to be calling for aid. That glass cannon starts to look very fragile. A single bullet, he'll be vulnerable. The punch is real. That's a shot, though. Taking down the enemy Orpa. Device went hunting. Fine, Sun Pius, the deaths to defend. He has got so many men walking through that arch side smoke and he won't be able to address it. This is it. wild. NIP with a ballsy this call. This is wild. Very ballsy call. Das considers it, but only for a second. Oh, and as he comes back, he loses his life. Look what they're doing to they're them. going, eh? Sun Pius is tucked on the site. Davy G's been having a tough time in this pit position. He's opted for mini. The rotate's on the way from the B players. He's safe from their util. And Sun Pius, shy of the mark, trims the fingernails of Popsky. Oh. Linus doesn't hit the floor bang, and suddenly, a man advantage. There is no kit, Chad. They have to hurry this one up. And already they have. Mopos puts his name in the feed again. And there you have a 15th. You can see how much that means to them. A couple of extra bullets for good measure into the corpses, and 15 is found. A retake successful from the Spaniards. Spotless final three. Another game that might go all 30 rounds here. It's the Movi Star special. Well, we've seen this out of device before. I don't know if they'll greet him with a pick. And that's a nice little Molotov. You can see they're slowing down the default for the boiler jump up. Only buys you about seven seconds. But what it mainly does is... Oh, he's gone for a pick. Device aggressive here. Has to manifest a pick for the team again. Asked a lot of here for the Dane. Oh, Death is feeling that pressure again. And they do lock it down. Smoke walls established. That's actually hiding within it. Oh, oh, it's oh, a pass. oh, all three have passed him and he can strike. Only the one. It needed to be more. It really needed to be more. I should save. Has to be. Look at the funds, the residual cash. It's bleak for David G. A hundred bucks in Alex's pocket. Barely get the bus ticket home. What a tug of war this has been. Yeah. What a tug of war. Like, the Movistar Riders are definitely winning, but only just here as they get pulled a step closer back to the mud. They're within touching distance of a nice blank slate. Yeah, just a, it becomes a best of one then, and that's their specialty, right? They got through out of the group stage to this point. They would only be, if they win this one, only 16 rounds away from attending that major. What a story it could be. Yeah, taking a look at the stance as well. Multi-kills have not been... Uh... Use the util. 
light on some, but the kits are there. The armor's good. The AWP and the rifles for everybody. NIP. Similar scenes here. The default spread, early nades, chunk on down two. Hampus and Device catch those. 62 and 56 HP, so both susceptible to the M4 to the dome. Different way to throw that retake utility. Oh, Alex playing with fire. Hampus is going to lurk on in again on this, I think. It's the same maneuver we saw before. Oh, this could punish him. It's still just the two of them. NIP, they haven't got the bomb, but they are just sending bodies in. Hampus trying to pressure the coffins, makes it clear he's in. Deals with the Alex push. Oh, and Mopos Huge. falls as well. The bomb's on its way. That's the save now. The bomb's going to go Will down. The... Hunt. Yeah, this is the question right now. NIP have so much extra cash compared, right? 7.7 .7 on res, 4.9 on Linus. That bomb, once it gets planted, we're going to immediately see what they're looking for. There's not a single sound. There's no flashes. Devices calling CT clear. The information for the ninjas is we need to get a move on. We need to try and take these guns away. I mean, it would be such a good way to secure the overtime, right? I mean, you take away almost all of the opportunity that the Movistar Riders would have. It'd be nothing but what little remains in their pocket. Second stage loss bonus currently. And they're coming. Light on time. All the CTs have spread themselves out, so it's trying to manage. Uh, hold on. Davy G takes one with him. Hampus down with a bomb. It's Famuses. Very impact on out to watch this one. And here we go. They have made the buy work. Famuses are the really only ones that were questioning. Oh, on, Sun Pius. One way. It's the one way established. NIP surely wise to their games. The flash is in the sky. Does he pull the trigger? He does. And just about gets away. 18 points of health for him to operate with for the rest of this. 90 second round still ticking. Oh, and it looks like they want to head towards B again here. It's been so successful. Rez has got top mid, but not control. We still have vision over there from Alex on that arch side, and the change up right now from the riders is having that AWP playing B. But if they walk up mid, they could be walking into the trap. That's just enough util, and there's more to come as well. So this is cheeky. So they throw the first wave, then they'll throw the second as the B players get control of top banana. Well, that's going to help them there, Deaths. That's going to help them a lot. Quad side herd, Mopos and Sun Pius to defend a commit. That's a great catch from Alex. Brave. You know it's Hampus as well, typically the lurky boy. Rotates on its way. Alex is charging to try and save it and finish it in regulation. Sun Pius eliminates Plopsky. More required. Device returns the favor. Good damage through the smoke. Alex pulling out all the stops, but Rez returns the... Oh! From Device has opened up the site. OT looms. Death is quick. Aggressive to swing. He knows he's on the fountain. That's the shot he had to hit. It's Rez. Up against two. Strikes quickly. Deaths to come up. Clutch to finish it right here, right now. Has a kit. Rez Coffins looking for impact. Rez just looking for info, but he gets spotted out. Confirms he's not on the bomb. Time is of the essence and already playing games with deaths. No time for this. He's going to have to try and sit it. Will Rez just go for a passive boom? Oh, it's too perfect. Over. Let's play on out, but here we go. Some Pius back into the big green. The utility looking good. And the AK is for NIP. No device safety AWP. And IP's T side definitely pulled the boys around the map a little more than anticipated. And Hampus, he's usually a brave boy when he gets smoked off, and there's no exception today. Flash through. He's going to continue, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. And this Death's is crazy. He's on his rotate, and there's no one home. This is so quick. Look. This is so quick. It's a minute 25. They're already in CT Arch. Like, this is a Hampus is maneuver, but it's oh, with Rez as well. Oh, the info. I sh no, maybe. Yeah, Alex has adapted. Death At least is acknowledging chasing. the potential. Mopos responsible a whole lot. This has to be the oh. double. <laughs> Does connect. Clears it out. Device is the next victim. Okay. 4v2. Bobby Star Riders. This is exactly the start you would be looking for. Great reaction. Out of deaths. Brave from the ninjas, but it's not done yet, Chad. Uh, Plopsky 
has three here on the site to deal with Alex. Tucked on in very passively, flashes are here. Lopsky's seen an elbow. He's there been he's hurt now. There. Eliminates it, a very well-managed spray. Death really has to play his life now. And David G has to push in the smoke or otherwise. Safe plant. A safe plant found. He has to deny and he will. Plopsky to come up clutch. 30 seconds for him to work his magic. Sun Pius is low. Davi oh, G beautiful. Is here and we go again. Ooh, lovely. Sun Pius strikes Hampus down. No more funny business from him this round. This is great. They've taken this two minute break and they've said, let's play some confident Counter Strike. They have played aggressive CS in both of these scenarios now. He's gone for picks in both rounds. Second time at profits. Now with a number disadvantage again, at least it's only one for an IP to operate with. You wouldn't. Oh, he's great. Peaks again on it. Son Pius is pulling Movistar Riders into a 17th there. They're pushing for info. They're playing with some confidence and pizzazz. Alex is already deep down Banana, so again, they have this luxury where they can play an essentially a four-man A defense. Now, it's not entirely four-man. They know that the round-the-world maneuver has been adapted a couple of times. Into the site they come. Davigi greets Rez with bullets, and every member of the Ninjas is down bar one. Linus, known for his clutch capacity, a 1v5, I imagine, is a little too tall of an order. Good catch, though. Yeah, safe hands. A little bit cheaper, I think they're 99 cents oh. uh, for, for the dual bananas. Hello. Boatloads of him. This is so Sun cocky. Pius. I love yeah. it. I, I love the confidence here. Looks like they're juggling some nades liners with some lineups. Ah, okay. This Boosty is, jolly. yeah, they're going to try the same thing again. Uh, this time they, well, they still could be body blocked on the balcony, actually, because Davy G was just up there. He just dismounted. But this is the same play we saw earlier, guys. So there's going to be a lot of flashes, water falling over. But it's a close setup right now. You have to deal with deaths before you can pull this off. Oh, he strikes, gets the info, spots more, and the bomb down. The three of them fall. Deaths, triple kill, and then some. Spots out Hampus. He knows where one of the two remaining are, and Movistar Riders are set up for a clean CT half in OT. They want to go to nuke. Don't worry about those flashes anymore. Yeah, rumbled completely. I mean, one, sure, but death stands his ground. He had res bearing down on him. One of the oh, scariest to face. Yeah, the boost is intimidating. Davi G at least keeps it up, but can't find the head. He does. And up four in that round there, NIP. Now three needs to be flawless from them if they want to go double OT, and we'll do it all again. 18-18, or the first to 19, and well, that's the GG. And I feel like you can take a couple of extra risks here. All of the individuals from Movistar Riders are delivering. This is really good. It's a team effort. Yeah, there's not a single member that it's been dead weight dragged into this position. Everyone has stepped up, delivered what they had to, and is making NIP work for it. This is their map for a reason, and now all they need is one elusive T round. I think if they just get map control, they could just... Oh. Uh, ah. Well, don't worry about just anything now. Uh, this is going to get a lot more difficult. Top mid has been taken. The space has been granted, and NIP are playing the numbers here, but Mopos, he spotted something. He slipped through. Plopsky doesn't have the call. He could catch Linus with a pin pulled if he plays this to perfection. <gasps> he could. He could. It's all about his read of the game. Yeah, Plopsky caught. The reaction util drop. Mopos has put them straight back into a 4v4. He wants to finish this now. Vice is rotating here, but it's all on Linus. They're coming. Thick and fast. Smoked off Orpa. Not going to be able to find too much impact. Closing the gap, Linus, they know where you are, and they've dunked him, Deaths. This has to be it. With the top spin, Pokeball, bomb planted safe. Device with the AWP for the retake. They do have smoke and kit, but this is it. Three frags away from Movistar Riders, putting it all onto Nuke. Retake Util. Forces two of them out, they were doubled up in Emo. Looking for safe haven, Alex takes one with him, but Rez is causing problems. And Davi G's his next victim, three in quick succession, puts it all onto Deaths. He hit him. And he pushes. Oh, and device is ready. Okay. NIP will get another bite of the cherry. One more ch attempt for the Movistar. A little bit here, right? And, and we know it's still just to go again with another map here, but still pushing a team like NIP out of the group stage. Nobody even thought they'd be this far. Yeah. I 
feel like if they're able to just go B and execute, that's great, but oh, the battle, Device wins out, some Pius goes down. Weiss, that's two opening deaths for him. Oh. Oh, Mop us again on Toplowski. <laughs> He really does not want to quit. They should just go B again, right? Because now they know where Linus is. He was on the boost. He spams. That's oh, desperate. Wow. The bomb site's open. Yeah, you see how brave <gasps> Mopoz was with that? It's a freebie right here. G catches Rez. The A site's open. Oh, it's falling apart. Mopoz catches Linus. Oh, they can go in anywhere back they to want. A. Yeah, makes sense. Mopoz caught out. I wonder if they solve this mystery quickly. Yep, they do. And well aware there's no one behind Mopoz. They're going the long route round. Well, this is going to take forever. Yeah, and Alex should have this rotate any day of the week. Device not ready for this. Only Hampus to stop this and does spot out the first. Good aid. It won't finish the job. 10 HP. Careful now. Careful now. Everyone's getting sketched out. 8 HP. A single bullet and Movi have got nuke. A single bullet. One click. One click. And there it is.